Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to this video and this channel. And in this video, we will be discussing how you can get funding if you are studying for a diploma or a degree, either in a TVET institution or in a university in Kenya. And we are going to discuss uh, two sources of funding, which are majorly uh, from COOPS, that is Kenya University and College Central Placement Service, and HERB or the Higher Education Loans Board. Of course, there are other sources of funding, like the, the Constituted Development Fund, but I want us to concentrate on the first two, that is HELPS and COOPS, because these are the ones that are fully dedicated for funding studies, either at universities or TVET institutions. And actually, for a diploma or a certificate course, you can actually finish your course without even paying a cent if you enroll for a course in a TVET institution. And I want us to see how this is possible, how you can take advantage of opportunities that are available. Because actually, probably these opportunities will not be available forever and you need to take advantage of them as soon as possible. So it is important you take advantage of opportunities uh, when they are available and finish your certificate or your diploma or your degree course, get yourself a job and then you repay the funding when you're already comfortable in a job. What I want us to do is to visit the two websites that is for help and for coops and we see how we can apply and get the funding. But I know for the degree courses, uh, student universities, they already know about help. So this video will be mostly be focused to those people who want to apply for either ATSAN certificate or diploma courses in TVET institutions. I have just typed Higher Education Rules Board and I'll go to Help homepage. I'll click there. For loans for TVET institutions, you come here, Products, and then click on Help Loans. On Help Room, there are various types of rooms, but we are interested in uh, Help product for TVET uh, students. For the degree level, they are much conversant with it because uh, uh, since time in memorial, um, Help had been giving loans to university students. So we are only going to look at TVET loans and GA admission loan. Well, this is a product that people who have finished their diplomas can take advantage of in order to do their higher diplomas. So you check first at the TVET loans if you want to apply for a certificate, an ATSAN or a diploma course in a TVET institution. We will need, we will go through what you need to know if you are a first time applicant. First, you have to visit the web website and then you need to create an account with help and of course you read the information uh, so that you can know how you can apply for the help room and then you need to access and fill the loan application form then you print two copies of the duty field event loan application form which is mandatory and then you attach all the relevant document as stated in the application form you can present the form at the nearest Huduma Center as per your region. But what I know, a student who have uh, applied for courses in TVET institution without first applying for the Herald Brown, they usually take the full uh, field form to the deans of students as per my institution. That's what I see happening. And the institution usually arrange for the various uh, authorities or personnel who need to sign the form, like religious leaders to come into the institution, sign all the forms. So you can also apply for the hair room when you are in the institution, but I would really advise you apply, you, are, you apply for your hair room before you join the institution so that you can enjoy the services of the funding from the government. Actually for TVET institutions, the school fees for the whole year is 56,000, and 400, you can get a maximum hair loan of 40,000, and then you can get a coops capitation fee of that thousand per year. 
so you can get a maximum funding of 7000 and the school fees is only 56400 so actually you will be left with some money in your bank account for your upkeep now let us see what are the requirements for the application of the help loan you need a copy of the applicant admission letter from the institution so you must have an admission letter from the institution you need a copy of the your national id you also need your kcse results slip you need copies of your parent national ids or death certificate if they are already deceased uh, you need copies of guarantors uh, national id you need uh, to open a bank account because this money will be some of the money will be deposited to direct it to the institution as your school fees and the rest of the money will be deposited on your in your bank account then you need a card a uh, passport size photograph for your application uh, you also need to note in the addition to the TVET loan uh, you can also get a bursary and you need to fill the bursary application form your TVET loan application form must also be signed by the Dean of Student from the institution where you are applying for the course and you need to retain a copy of the duty filled form the paying for the loan is quite convenient because you start repaying for the loan one year after you have completed your studies and the interest for the loan is quite minimal. Actually, personally, I already finished paying for my loan. This is something I can really advise students to really take advantage of. Because personally, I went through my education, I went through my university education comfortably. I could even afford some extra money in my account. So actually when I was a student, uh, HELP was giving me enough money for my school fees, for my upkeep and I could also invest in shares at Nairobi Stock Exchange, something I'm really glad I learned to do because even today I still do shares trading at Nairobi Stock Exchange. Uh, but I would really advise you keep the money for your upkeep and your studies uh, do not concentrate on investment if you the money is not enough for you but personally I got enough for my studies and for investing I was able to finish my studies successfully and I have completely repaid the loan and I will also really encourage you if you are somebody who have not repaid the help loan that is the best thing you can do because if you benefited from the loan why wouldn't you want another person to benefit and the repayment uh, is very flexible now, I also want us to check the loans for the higher diploma student. If you want to pursue a higher diploma after your diploma, so what you're going to do, you are going to come here, a uh, hair bro. Then you click on uh, GRE Misha. Uh, this is a product meant for already employed students. They could be higher diploma students. A bachelor student, postgraduate student, or even masters and PhD students. Uh, this loan has quick processing. You can quickly get the loan and uh, pay for your school fees. It has an interest of 10%. You cannot get this from a bank. You can repay it uh, up to a period of 48 months, which is four years. You can be in a temporary employment as long as you have been that employment for at least two years. And you can borrow up to 90% of your school fees up to a maximum of 600,000. You need an, an admission letter to the institution when you want to go and study. You need a copy of your last acquired academic certificate. For a diploma student, this will be uh, your diploma certificate, uh, which is certified by Commissioner of Work. You need three months of your latest payslip, certified by your certified by your employer. If you are employed in contracts, so you can also take advantage of this. You need to provide a copy of an appointment letter or contract of not less than two years. But who are eligible uh, to get this loan? Mostly uh, people who are working in government institutions. Mostly if you are working in government institution, whether you are employed on, on temporary or permanent basis. Now we have, we have said, the school fees in Tibet institution 
uh, annual school fees is supposed to be 5600 and 4000 if you apply for your course through coops you can also get a capitation fee of 40000 per year now as long as you apply for your studies through coops you'll be eligible for the capitation fee from the government which is usually split into four phases and it is paid in four phases of 7500 Kenya shillings which will be in a total of 30,000 in a year but for the coops you not need to follow up as long as you got it for your first time but for help you have to keep on following up each and every year so if you want to get that 40,000 you have to keep on uh, checking your application so that you are not left out because again these applications uh, these institutions they usually open the website for a period most like two weeks you do your application and then they close so you have to be on your toes you have to be disciplined keep on checking the website so that you are not left out by the opportunity now i want us to check the coops website and we see uh, how you can benefit Actually, as I am making this video, the Coops website is already open for application. So when you log into the Coops website, you can come here where you have the student portal, or you can come here. So if you click here on the student portal, you see all the programs that are eligible to be funded by Coops. There are 546 degree program, 218 diploma program or courses, 114 certificate courses, and so on. For the diploma and other courses, there are 105 colleges you can pursue your courses and for the university there are 75. You can get on the download the list of all possible institutions where you can apply for the course. or attach all the relevant documents you need for your application, which college and which course it offers and which colleges are uh, eligible for COOPS capitation fee. So remember to check my video description uh, for the various documents that will help you know which course that you can pursue in which college. Also remember to leave your comment on the YouTube channel comments. Remember also to share the video to other guys who have finished high school. Now uh, here we have the various institutions that are approved. The nearest town and the county where you are, they are. Uh, the first, these are universities. Uh, here you have National Polytechnics, you have Technical Training Institutes, there are quite a number. If you want to apply for an outside course, there is various colleges where you can apply the course for the course. We have the various outside program that you can apply for, and the degree, and the qualification for the outside courses. Qualification of outside courses is either you have finished your KCSE and you got a D- or a E. Again, I have another document uh, detailing the various institutions, the certificate courses they are offering, uh, the grade for those certificate courses, and the combination for those certificate courses. Uh, so you need to know which course in which institution and the grade so that your application through the Coops website can be successful. In addition to that, uh, we have the various diploma courses. So we have the college, the course they are offering, the grade, and the cluster points. Our leave all these documents to my video description so check them and apply through coops and get there that does that government capitation fee uh, but now what you have to remember is uh, for you to be eligible to get the, that does that government capitation fee one you must apply directly through coops or if you do not apply directly through coops and you apply directly to the institution then you must have the institution submit your details to coops so that you can benefit from the 30,000 government capitation fee. I believe the information that I've given you is very useful. Take advantage of the opportunities that are there. Uh, do not stay at home, whereas you can easily get your education funded. If you are still at home, 
maybe in informal employment, uh, apply for help at groups funding, go through your education comfortably. After you're done with the education, you can uh, now start repaying for the help loan, which is very comfortable to repay. I believe I've not wasted your time in this video, I'd certainly not, not in the next video.